we're gonna be over in the weapon kits. Basically, last time it just an error occurred on when I was in the middle of it. So you already went through the submachine guns and the assault rifles. We're moving on to the shotguns. We already went over this little baby, the KRM. We're moving on to the Argus. The Argus is a really powerful shotgun, good range on it, available in the mystery box. Really high powered, looks really detailed, and I hope you get it. It's just really powerful. Next, we have the 205 Brecky, or Breaky, however you like to say it. This gun is available in the mystery box. Yeah, customize it a little bit, but it doesn't really look like this in the mystery box. So it looks a lot different once you start the game. It's a really semi-automatic. It's really good, strong, and it takes and it takes a lot of damage into the zombags. Last but not least for the shotguns list, we have the Haymaker 12. This is fully automatic. It's available in the mystery box. Really high powered and it has good range. Look at that. It looks cool already. All right, we already went over the shotguns. We move on to the secondary weapons. We have the Bowie knife, the one and only. This Bowie knife is available for 3000 points on the wall. It is not available in the mystery box cuz if it was, you'd be hitting it till you get it. It's really high powered, 1 milli kill until round 10, and really detailed. You can also find it in a multiplayer map called Hunted. Next we have the RK5 pistol on the wall for 500 points. This baby is a 3 round burst, really good for points, and is a lot better than the uh other guns that are in zombies. Next we have the fully automatic L car 9. Look at that. I have a camo on it. This is uh, basically a wall gun. Well, not really wall. I found it's basically on a table for 750 points. Really good for points and really average for an average uh, account basically for the freaking uh, zombies headshots. Last but not least for secondaries, we have our rocket launcher, the XM-53. Only fires one lock rocket, lock on or free fire. It only comes equipped with lots of ammo. Once you get this from the mystery box, it has 21 rockets, one in each clip, and 20 in the stockpile. And basically what this does is blows up the zombies. Just be sh careful to uh, not aim it at yourself because you take damage from it. Just like the uh, other guns. Well, not the other guns. The Wonder Weapon. We went over the secondaries. Now we move on to the snipers. This is the Locust Sniper. All these snipers are in the mystery box, just to let you know. This Locust is really g detailed. High powered for headshots and body shots. Really good when pack a punched, and uh, yeah, I customize it a little bit. Next, we have the Draken. It's a semi automatic, it's really detailed, available in the mystery box, and does a whopping headshot. Like, really, one headshot will kill like two zombies in a row. I'm not kidding, this baby is good. I don't really use it that much. Next and last. Za uh, thing, whatever, sniper. We have the SVG 100 sniper rifle. It is very detailed, just like the Locust. It's very slow, which I don't like. Very high powered, and has a lot of uh, headshot power. I mean, this thing, you would want it, but I don't know if I would want it. Really slow on my end, and uh, yeah, it's really detailed, and a mystery box weapon. Last but not least, we'll move on to the light machine guns. Then we'll probably be start playing a game of zombies. So, this is the BRM. It is a LMG, fully automatic, does a lot of damage for headshots, and available in the mystery box.
This baby is really good for points, headshots, maybe even kills, I suppose. I designed it a little bit to make it look cool, and once I get it from the mystery box, I always go for the heads. Next, we have the Dingo. It's really good for points, headshots, and kills. This baby is available in the mystery box, and I designed it to look cool. I don't have a camo for it yet, but I'm getting there. It looks so cool once you get it. It's oh yeah, it shoots fast. It's good. Next we have a 48 dredge. This is an another LMG, but it's semi-automatic. Not semi-automatic, it's a burst gun. It's six rounds per shot. Six shots per whatever I like to say it. Every time it shoots, it shoots six six uh, bullets per shot you take. Really good, but slow on reloading. You need speed color for this weapon because if you don't, you're basically dead. Last but not least, we have the Gorgon. The Gorgon is a very high powered and slow LMG. It is in the mystery box only. It is very good for headshots for zombies. Uh, not really good for body shots and a slow reload. So you might want to give this a little speed cola too. Heh, <laughs> I wouldn't want to ruin your fun. Alright, before we start, I'm going to show you some gobble gums. This is going to take a while. I know you want to see some zombies, but I just want to show you this. So first, we have the Always Done Swiftly. Basically, what this does is activates immediately. It lasts full three rounds, three full rounds. You walk faster while aiming, raise and lower your weapon to aim more quickly. This is really good because you can walk faster and get away from the zombies more quickly. And it's just a really it's a, a good gumball. Next is one of my favorites, Arms Grace. It activates and, and lasts until you like resp next respawn. Basically what this does is when you die and when you respawn, you get your guns. You get your guns you had that you bled out with. Oops, sorry, backed out. So this is a really useful gum. It is orange. You can always get this from uh, Dr. Monty's. And I suggest you get this because you can keep your ray gun or Apothecon servant or when you get down and you can come back with it. Next we have the congruent. A congruent, however you like to say it. Basically what this is, activates immediately in the last 20 minutes you basically bleed out longer than usual once you have this equipped you can basically like stay down for like as long as you want before this gumball runs out this is really useful because like once a teammate gets down has his gumball equipped he won't die that easily so whenever he gets the uh round done and uh gets you you'll still have the gumball for like 20 minutes Next we have the in plain sight gumball. Basically what this does, you are ignored by zombies for like 10 seconds, two activations, and it is really good for getting away. Like, if you're just about to get trapped, you activate this gumball, uh, the zombies will just walk away. And you can just like get away faster. This is really useful because you won't get down easily when you're cornered. Basically, most people, when they don't have this gumball, they're cornered, they're dead. End of story. Alright, let's move on. We have the stock option. Stock option, basically what it does, it removes the uh, bullets from your stockpile instead of the magazine. This is useful because, like, once you get this, you use the stockpile ammo, like, once you have, like, 400 bullets, you can just spam it, spam from your stockpile without reloading. Basically, once this gumball runs out, you're completely screwed, so you better watch out. Next, we have the impatient gum. Basically, what this does, respawn at the at, near the end of the round, instead of the start of the next round. This is really useful because, do you like waiting for the new round to start? I guess not. Once you have this gumball equipped, you die, 
it's almost the end of the round, you spawn back. Better watch out though, these zombies will chase you as hell. So you better get a gun or a perk quick before you die again. Next we have the sword flay. Sword flay, basically what this does is your melee damage is five times uh, powerful than your regular melee. Like, say, here, it's on round four, you have a regular knife. Like, once you have this gumball equipped, you can just sh knife it, and it's in instantly dead. You can use this with the Bowie knife, too. Like, round 11, you knife this bad boy with the zombie with this gum equipped and the Bowie knife. It's, de it's dead. So I like this, but I don't really use it that much. Next, we have the Anywhere But Here gum. Basically what these does, instead, instantly teleports to a random location around the map. A consu- whatever it is, a cons- a cons blast knocks away any nearby zombies, keeping you safe. Just like when you're exiting the beast. Basically, w why would you like this gumball? Well, basically, if you're just about to, like, die, you can use this to, like, teleport to, like, pack a punch, maybe spawn. I wouldn't go to spawn because it's really dangerous. So, I wouldn't really get this gumball, but if you want, you can. Next gumball, we have Danger Closest. Danger Closest. Basically what this does, you get no explosive, explosive damage whatsoever. Basically, why? Because you don't take splash damage from like rockets, grenades, maybe the ray gun. I like it. I don't use it that much, but you can equip it if you like. And hope you enjoy the no explosive damage for like three rounds. Next, we're almost done. We just got this and the other side. Next, we have Armamental Accomplishment. Basically, what this does, switch weapons and recover from performing melee attacks faster, reload, and use items more quickly. Why would you want this? Well, basically, you can switch weapons faster and, and knife way quicker than the usual. And you can reload quicker. It's almost like Speed Cola reload, but if you got Speed Cola with this bad boy, you are so good. It's like, it's like a snap of a finger. You'll reload instantly. I would like it. And it's just good. Next, we have firing on all cylinders. You can fire while sprinting with this gum. And it lasts full, three full rounds. I like it because like when I'm running into a zombie, I can just shoot them in the face. However, I like it. But if you aim down the sights, you stop running instantly. So better just like keep the scope off if you want to keep running and gunning. Just like stamina up. Next we have the Arsenal Accelerator. Basically what this does, you can change your special weapon faster. Say you have a sword and like you want to use it and whatever. I haven't used this yet. You can just change it faster than usual. You can use this whenever you want. If you want to get it, that's fine. Let's move on. Next, we have Lucky Crit. When you get this, it improves your chance of getting an alternate ammo type. Like, basically, in, like a drop. You, once you get this activated, you can use it. Like, once you activate this, you get a better item than usual instead of insta kill and carpenter. Carpenter is the useless uh, item of them all. And once you have this equipped, you can either get double points, max ammo, or nuke. I'd rather get those three because those are useful. So, yeah. Let's move on. Second to last, we got Now You See Me. Basically what this does, all zombies will chase the player for 10 seconds, just like the in plane sight up there. Basically what this does, the zombies ignore every other player except for the one that has this gum activated. Basically, like a player is about to die, the other player uses this, it goes after the player, and the player that's just almost dead can get whatever they want for 10 seconds. I like it because like when they use it, they just go after him and I can just kill them however I want. Last classic, we got the all chemical Arnethis, however you like to say it. Basically what this does, 
every 10 points you earn, you get one ammo in the stock of the current weapon. Basically, like, once you're running out of ammo and you have, like, 10 shots left, you use this gum. Every 10 points you get, you get a lot, you get ammo. So this is really useful instead of waiting for max ammo. And I like it because it's useful. I can get more ammo and I wouldn't die that easily. All right, moving on to the megas. The first mega we have is the aftertaste. Aftertaste, basically once activated or once you have it, you go down, you keep your perks instead of getting up, running all the way to jug and stuff. This one actually keeps it. So once you're revived, you keep it. Next, my worst favorite gum, burnout. Burned out. This basically activates immediately. As like as soon as you take a hit, all the zombies around you bl blast into flames and die. This is useful because like if there's a zombie chasing you, like a lot of zombies chasing you, one of them hits you, all of them die. It's just like a, a range. Basically, it's range, and I wouldn't prefer this because it's my enemy. I only have seven, not one of them. So yeah, I don't use it. Next we have Dead of Nuclear Winter. Basically what this does, it spawns a free nuke power up. Just so say you want the round to be over, but there's more zombies. You can activate this, spawn free nuke, get your 400 points, and round ends, boom. I like it because it's just so useful. Right, really useful. Next we have the Emperor Enhancement. Basically what this does, the current weapon you're holding turns into Pack-A-Punch for 60 seconds. This doesn't work for the uh, Apothecon Servant because it's already been patched. Basically what this does, if you really want to get Pack-A-Punch and you really, like really want it, you can use this gum, turn it for 60 seconds, then if you want to use it again, it's only two activations so use it wisely. Next, we have I'm feeling lucky. Basically what this does, it spawns a random power up. If you get really lucky, you can spawn a max ammo or a nuke. But if you don't get lucky, you can spawn a carpenter. Carpenter is like the worst gum of the wall. Just like I said earlier. Next we have the immolation liquidation. You spawn a free fire sale power up. Like say, once you have this gumball equipped, you really want a fire sale or a mystery box. Get just activate that, get a free fire sale, get the box, get a new gum, whatever you like to do. This is really useful because it's only cost 10 cents. Mystery box is in every location, same as the gobble gums. So I like it. Next we have my really, really worst gobble gum. License contractor. You will probably uh, know this one because basically what this does, it spawns carpenter. Carpenter doesn't do that much, it just rebuilds all the barriers around the map and only gives you 200. If you get lucky, you can get 400 for with, with double points. Next, we have a useful one for all players Phoenix Up. Basically, what this does is basically it revives all the teammates and they keep their perks. So like say everyone else is down except for you and you have this gum equipped. Use it, use that bad boy and all the players that are down get up and they keep their perks. This is really useful because all the players that are down, as soon as you revive them, they have to go for drug, but with this, they can just keep it. As soon as they get up, they keep it. Next, my really good favorite, Pop Shocks. Basically what Pop Shocks does is when you knife a zombie, the zombies around you get electrocuted. And yeah, it shocks the nearby zombies. I like using this because uh, of the, the Margwa. Basically when the Margwa spawns, you have this, uh, you have this gum. You can get like, as soon as it spawns, you knife it, you wait a few seconds and it instantly dies. You don't have to shoot any heads. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about it killing you. You can just knife it. It goes away instantly. 
Next, we have the respin cycle. Basically, what this does is spins the magic box again. If like, if you don't have, uh, if you don't like the weapon you currently have, use this gum to spin it again, and get hope you get a better one. Because if you like, don't spending like that much for 950 each hit, you can just use this gum instantly. You can use it to respin it. You don't have to pay. Next, we have my personal favorite, Unquenchable. Basically, what this does, you can buy an extra perk. See, you know, all zombies, most zombie games, they only give you four perks. But with this, once you get this gobble gum, you can get the fit, your, the, whatever your fifth perk can desire. Maybe stamina up, speed cola, maybe whatever you like. I like this because I don't like to sit around having four perks and just four perks is dumb. You know, let's get to the next one. Next we have who's keeping score. I like this one because it gives you double points. Spawn this bad boy, you get double points instantly. And uh, hopefully you get a lot of points. Next we have cash back. It's a it's a me, it's a rare mega. You can see the outlines of it. It's really cool. Basically, what this does is spawn the max ammo. Once you're running low on ammo, or if anyone else is, you can just spawn this bad boy. You get max ammo. Next, we have Killjoy. This spawns an insta kill when you need that really insta, like you really need a one shot kill. Those zombies get activate this. You get an insta kill to shoot your way through. Next, we have one of my personal favorites, again, on the house. Basically, once you get this, it spawns a free perk for everybody in its range. Basically, instead of buying a perk, you can just get this perk for free. So I like this because it's really useful. You can get a random perk around the map, but I wouldn't get Mule Kick because Mule Kick is the worst perk of them all. Next, we have a good one. Wall power. It's also a rare mega. As soon as you buy the next wall gun with this gum equipped, it's pack a punch for the whole game. So I like this because I usually get the KRM, the shotgun I explained earlier. As soon as I get this, it's really good. Because I wouldn't want to waste waiting and waiting for pack a punch. So get this gum equipped and you'll be on your way. Next, we have a really a ra ultra rare mega killing time what this does is freezes all the zombies on the map as soon as you're shot they're annihilated once the time's up this is good because like once you're in a corner or just about to die you can use this the zombies freeze you can just like shoot 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 them shoot them all you want and when the time's up it's uh you know done all the zombies around you that you shot dead Last but not least, the favorite and most useful perk of them all. And it's called Perkaholic. This is my favorite. Like, really, really my favorite. Because once you get this, you get all the perks on the map you're playing. Basically, when you play the giant, you know the giant, right? If you get the season pass, you can get this bad boy. Get all the perks on the map, and you'll be good. Even on Shadows of Evil, you can get this. It's really good. You can get this as soon as you get it. You get all the perks. You don't have to buy a single thing. But if you get down, you lose them. Unless you have the aftertaste. Or the Phoenix up, whatever you like to. Alright, let's get into zombies. I'm going to do a public match. Let's do this. Oh, it feels so good. It's already been 24 minutes. Wow. Just to let you know, I really want this bad. Patriots are losing 14 seconds. Yeah, so let's get into a, uh, a game of zombies. Ah. Uh servers might be down I don't know it's just not gonna give me a good lobby I know it let's see what random players so about this 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 just players I met in the past mm. 
Okay. Well, if we don't get one, I'll just find something else, but I don't want to take too long. I'll back out. I'm just going to do this again. Wait a few seconds, go down here, and go. Come on, come on, give me a good lobby, please. Uh, I just want a mic or something, or two, or three, I don't know. I want to at least have people with mics. Because if I don't, I'm going to be really mad. Like, seriously, really mad. Uh, now we play the waiting game, I guess. Taking so long. Oh, I have no liquids. Yeah, no liquids. Up, oh, I think the servers have stopped giving me loading stuff. So I'm gonna probably. Nope, wait. What's it gonna do? What's it gonna do when they come for you? I went back out. Why won't it let me back out? Thank you. Alright, we're gonna try this again. One more time. If it doesn't work, I'm just gonna stop the video there. And I'll probably just change the things. I don't know. Just gonna wait a minute. Alright guys, it's not gonna do it, so that's all the time I have now. Thank you all for watching. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. See y'all later. Peace out. Okay. Okay, I just hit the wrong button, I'm sorry.